What's up everybody, it's your main fragrance man Brad back with another review video today. This one's quite a special one and before I even start this review, I want you, the viewer, to pause this video and open up a new window. If you have not seen my top 20 autumn fragrances list, I strongly encourage you to check that out because it is vital that you understand what this fragrance is placed on, the, on that list to understand this review. So I'm going to give you some time right now to uh, pause that video and watch it right now. Okay, glad to see that you're back and let's start off this review right now guys. Now that the cat is out of the bag, now that the big surprise is out of the way, yes, Parfums de Marley Habden, this bad boy right here, made my number one autumn fragrance of 2016. This is kind of a little bit out of left field, you know? This fragrance has never been mentioned before on my channel, I haven't really ever talked about it, and this one just completely took over the fall by storm for me. Now I sampled this at the very beginning of fall and when I sampled this I actually didn't even get a chance to smell it while I was sampling it. I was in a department store, a high-end department store, and they actually had this fragrance here. I'm like, yeah, I've heard some good things, I want to try it out. And I remember the first time I sprayed this out of the sample back in my house, oh, it actually made me fall down. That was how good the smell was. I was blown away. It was incredible. But I'll get into that in the scent. Now, Parfums de Marley have, and this is part of the uh, Royal Essence Collection. All these fragrances use only the highest concentration and the highest quality ingredients, and it really, really shows. I was very, very impressed with the quality and just in how natural the, the ingredients were. This is one of those fragrances, and all actually the, all the Parfums de Marley scents, I think they're one of the best niche houses in the market right now, in my opinion. And this is one of those where every single note, you can pick it out, because all the notes are just so full, so full-bodied, so rich, and so deep. And I just really have to give credit to the House of Parfums de Marley. They have really created a bunch of gems, and I really uh, congratulate them on using the highest ingredients. You know that the customers really care about that, and thanks. So Parfums de Marley Hadden was released in 2013. It is classified as an oriental vanilla, and it has balsamic, smoky, caramel, fruity, warm, spicy, and sweet accords. So with that, let's go right into the note breakdown. Parfums de Marley opens with saffron and frankincense. Then it goes to a mid of apple, woodsy notes, and rose. And then it dries down to that amazing base of caramel, ambergris, and myrrh. Really quickly, let's talk about the presentation. I, obviously, I have a little 5 mil decant right here. Um, of course, the bottles are very expensive. I would own a bottle if they weren't th almost $300. But as you very well know, I have seen and I have held the bottles of the Parfums de Marley. They are absolutely a sight to behold. The caps, it is true what they say, they are super heavy. And uh, the bottle's really nice. It has the two prancing horses embossed almost coming out of the uh, of the bottle and just everything from the bottle to how it sits in its velvet throne inside the box top-notch presentation okay now let's go into how this actually smells this is one of the best things I've ever smelled in my life not even a fragrance one of the best things period I've ever smelled let that sink in for a second one of the best things that I've ever smelled I mean Think about how many things we all smell on a daily basis. This is one of the best things. It is absolutely incredible. Like I said before, just the quality and the richness and the full bodiness of the all the ingredients in here really is just so a, a masterpiece. It's so well blended. This one kind of teeter totters in between sweet and gourmand. A lot of fragrances just go bam gourmand. They're overly sweet, and no, this one does not. This one stays still sweet yet without being a full gourmand, which I really really like. Okay, now I'm going to paint a picture in your minds of how this thing smells and what the impression that I get. Basically, you're going to get that apple up top. It's a nice crisp apple mixed in with a slightly salted, definitely a sticky sweet caramel note. So right off the bat, that makes me think of fall because I have great memories of eating those. I think we all have eaten these before. The candied caramel apples on a stick, right? You go to any fall festival, they're bound to have those there. That's really what this smells like in the opening. The apple, for the most part, and that fruitiness up top dies away pretty quickly, but the caramel stays the entire time, which I really, really like. So with that caramel candied apple, you are also going to get a very bold, very deep, very, uh, very spicy saffron in there. And th this saffron, so nice, it's very rich and has a cinnamon-like effect on the fragrance. So imagine adding that cinnamon spicy saffron with the caramel apple and you get something that smells sort of like a, a warm apple crumble, an apple crisp, or an apple pie. It smells very delicious and very, very rich. Now right away you're thinking, okay, apple pie gourmands, but it doesn't go in the gourmand direction somehow because also this has frankincense and myrrh. This kind of gives it this very exotic um, resinous feeling. The myrrh is resinous and it's sort of 
vanillic, dense, and sweet. But at the same time, the frankincense gives this composition a very dark and a very smoky sense. So it's dark, it's smoky, you got the caramel in there, a little bit of the apple and the spicy saffron. All that combines to make one of the best things I've ever smelled in my life. This fragrance is very, very warming, very rich, very dark and deep and bold and very masculine at the same time. However, it's not in your face. It's kind of there, it does its thing. And I absolutely love everything from this fragrance from top to bottom. As it dries down, you get a little bit more of the smokiness. That apple dies away and a little bit of the saffron goes away as well, but you're left with a beautiful, smoky, sweet scent. So I'm gonna give the scent category a perfect five out of five, obviously. This is, like I said, the best thing I've ever smelled, one of the best things. And I think it really deserves a perfect five out of five. Nothing from the top to the bottom that I dislike about it. I love every second of this. Okay, now let's go into the performance. Due to the very high quality and high concentrations of ingredients, this is Eau de Parfum strength, by the way, um, the performance is stellar. Absolutely stellar. All the Parfums de Marley fragrances that I have tried seem to last for ages, which is, again, props to you, Parfums de Marley. But if we're talking about having in terms of longevity, every time I wear it, 12 plus hours. Woo, wow. That is such a treat because I know a lot of these fall fragrances don't really last that long on my skin. This is the longest lasting autumn scent that I own. And I have not worn this in these warm type of, you know, indoor occasions. I put this thing through the hardest, hardest tests in terms of longevity. I've worn this in the coldest outdoor nighttime weather you can imagine. I actually wore this thing to a Halloween haunt special event a little while ago. This was outdoors, nighttime. You can imagine all the smoke from the fog machines and it was bitter, bitter cold that evening. It was windy. This thing lasted from when I sprayed it on in the evening till halfway through the next morning. It was the first thing that I smelled. So longevity, every single time, 12 plus hours. I've worn it also outdoors, nighttime. Um, this thing just lasts and lasts and lasts. Also, projection is very, very good on my skin. Projection, guys, this thing will project at least an arm's length for about five hours, outdoors, nighttime, cold weather, doesn't matter. It always will project. And then after the next five to six hours after that, it's about this distance right here. It'll stay like that. And guys, the projection and performance overall, amazing. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I saved my perfect five out of five for those absolutely beastly fragrances like Tobacco Veneer, 1821 Man Made. Uh, those ones that last like a day and a half, but still four and a half is absolutely amazing. Okay, now let's go into the versatility category. Uh, I find this to be a really, really good cool weather scent. Uh, this thing needs the cold air in order to smell its best. Once you put the cold air on it, it really just makes its fragrance come alive. It brings out the depth, the boldness, and the uh, darkness of the scent. So with that in mind, perfect for fall and winter, but like I said, this just has a fall connotation in my mind because of that caramel candied apple type of a thing. And I, I would definitely reserve this for special occasions and definitely nighttime. This is a really, really good fall, nighttime, outdoor especially scent. Um, that's just when I've mostly worn this outdoors, nighttime, autumn. Um, I think also works really, really good on a date. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, especially for the ladies. I really, really like the way this thing smells. Um, so definitely are those the occasions I see that working best in. So I'm gonna score the versatility a three out of five. I think it's good for the cooler seasons of the year. Definitely outdoors, definitely nighttime, and could also work well on a, in, on a date. Okay, so now let's go into the compliments. Uh, this might have very well made my top 10 most complimented list if I had discovered it before I made that list. Um, this thing has really, really been a solid compliment getter for me. Nobody has disliked the way this one smells. This just has a way of drawing people closer to you. It's a very delicious aroma and it just smells phenomenal, guys, and compliments. This is definitely a lady pleaser, I can say that. Women really seem to like the, the way this stuff smells. Uh, like I said, it's just very sweet, very inviting, but also has a dark, masculine edge to it. So, gonna give the compliments a four out of five. It's really, really good. You might be seeing it in some uh, future top 10 most complimented lists because it's really good in this category. All right, guys, so far, so good. I've had a lot of really good things to say about Parfums de Marley had, and now let's go into the value category. And this one, this does cost $275 for a 120 ml bottle retail prices. If you got the money to spend on it, I think it's a really good deal. And also, if you don't have like 50 plus bottles in your collection, this is also a good, good value because it performs like the price tag. It smells unique for the price tag. And I think it's very versatile for the price tag as well. So if you got that kind of money, go get it. Trust me, if I had $275 laying around, I would definitely buy a full bottle of this. But I'm quite happy with my 5 ml decat because this thing lasts quite a long time. So for the value, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. You know, you're a niche company. I think that they very well deserve to charge these prices for this scent, um, and I think it's very well worth it. Now for Asian sprays, this definitely leans a little bit more mature. I think 20 and up is the, definitely the age group, and you can go up as far as you want. If you're an older gentleman, this could be a very good signature scent for you, and two sprays is very, very good for this scent. Even three if you're outdoors, so that's what I think about that. 
Okay, now let's go with my overall rating. Of course, I'm gonna give Parfums de Marley Habden a 10 out of 10. This really is a perfect fragrance in my eyes. The only thing that draws it down is a very high price tag, but like I just said, I think it's definitely worth the price if you got that kind of money. And like I said, the smell is very unique. It's an amazing, very high quality scent with the caramel apple smokiness in there. And the performance is absolutely stellar. And like I said, I just made so many amazing memories. I've worn this on all my fall special occasions. So in the winter I smell it, that's just what I think about is having great times in the uh, autumn this year. I can definitely say that Parfums de Marley have and definitely gets kind of overshadowed by Herod or Pegasus, two definitely of the more popular ones in the collection, but I think this is definitely a must try. This is one of my favorites in the Parfums de Marley house. They're becoming one of my favorite niche houses, by the way. And like I said, I would own a bottle if it wasn't so expensive. So guys, that's going to be my take on Parfums de Marley Havden. Like I said, my number one fall fragrance for 2016. I really love this stuff and I highly encourage you to go check this out. I think it's really, really worth a try. So hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what your thoughts are about this if you have tried it, which you need to have. And see you guys later with another fragrance review. Peace out.